Dry pipes suck, and there are a lot of different versions of a dry pipe. Spoon pipe, Gandalf, Sherlock, Steamroller, Chillum. If there's no water percolation in that piece, it is trash in comparison to a water pipe. Bubblers can be okay from time to time, but your average bubbler is not very good. Pretty underwhelming on the percolation, and they don't hold a lot of water. They usually get dirty really quickly. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, or you follow me on Twitch for my smoke sessions, which usually go down after 9 p.m. Eastern. You probably know I'm a big fan of bongs. We got a lot of bongs here. I also have a lot of dry pipes, but I really, I almost never use them. Dry pipes are not the best. I talked about them on my tier list recently. I talked about the best devices or best glass pieces for smoking, and dry pipes are pretty low on the list. And the main reasons are it's harsher. You're not getting that cooled off smoke. You're not getting the water percolated smoke. So you're not getting that extra filtration that, like you would get with a bong hit. So your hits are hotter, they're harsher, and you're likelier to take smaller hits. A bong is going to help you take a bigger hit and get more value out of that hit. You're going to get higher by taking one big hit compared to a few small hits. Holding in your hits doesn't really do much, but if you take a nice full hit and you fill your lungs up with smoke, that is a surefire way to get really high really quickly. And bongs make that easier. Dry pipes do not make it easy to do big hits. If you can do the same size hit out of a dry pipe that you can out of a bong, bro, you got like adamantium lungs or some shit. Dry pipes are harsh as fuck. When I was first First getting into smoking, the first things I smoked out of were a blunt and a gravity bong. And a gravity bong is misleading because your average gravity bong doesn't actually percolate or filter the smoke out. Most of them just use water and suction to pull the smoke into the piece, but they're not actually percolating. They're not actually filtering it like you do with a bong. So the first time I ever hit out of a bong, I was probably smoking regularly for a few months. I've been mostly using dry pipes, some joints here and there. And I was using smaller pipes, a little four inch spoon pipe, nothing crazy. And the first bong I ever hit I went to a head shop and I was like yo I need to step it up I want something that hits harder and I think I bought a little 8 to 10 inch I think it was a beaker I'm not actually sure what kind of bong I think it was a beaker and it had one of those tree perks in the middle the kind of bongs I think are stupid now but I think I had a beaker with a down stem and then it had a perk in the middle and let me tell you my very first hit on a bong the first time I ever took a bong rip was amazing after my first bong rip I remember I did nice little bowl pack nothing crazy a little bit less than what I would normally pack a dry pipe but usually i would share those at the time i would pass them around or hit it several times the first time i ever hit a bong bruh I remember sitting there thinking to myself while I'm going to the moon, like, holy fuck, why have I been wasting my time and money and weed putting my shit into a dry pipe? when bong hits are clearly the best. Now, one thing I want to talk about or bring up is snaps. You accidentally or intentionally pull your ash through, you do a snap on your bong, everything goes and hits the water. Sometimes you do it on purpose, sometimes you do it on accident, but it still happens. When you burn through your bowl, you get ash that's getting ready to come through. On a fucking dry pipe, this son of a bitch piece of motherfucking shit, it's going to send that hot ash, sometimes little embers, sometimes little burning pieces of flour that were able to wiggle their way through the hole. It's going to shoot all that into your mouth, into your throat. But if you've ever had Scooby snacks in your life, you're like, fuck these things. I do like the art on dry pipes. There are a lot of great dry pipes out there. I've seen some of the sickest Sherlock's and Gandalf's. I feel like there's sicker dry pipes out there. There's cooler dry pipes than custom made bongs. But I I could be wrong. I just feel like there's way more people making this kind of stuff. But the water, the lack of water percolation is trash. Usually when I pack a dry pipe, I'll do like a bunch of small hits. One bowl pack will turn into a little sesh where I'm just kind of sipping it. Mainly because it's hot. Really hot, really harsh, not the best hits overall. I've used this little coffee mug dry pipe a few times. It's cool for the novelty. Oh, I can sip my coffee and then smoke a bowl. I would fucking rather do a bong hit a thousand times over. Can we make a bong version of this where it somehow uses the coffee to percolate but doesn't allow the ash to snap through? I'm just fucking around. But see, whenever I would hit something like this, I've done patio seshes in the past or YouTube videos with seshes. I pack the bowl, you hit it once you see it's burning a little bit you need to stop it from burning or you just keep hitting it so really at the end of the day you're just going to get a better sesh and you're going to be more efficient with your flour if you have a bong if you have a water piece it's obviously a little bit more work it's larger so it's going to take a little bit more to clean it i could break the down stem on this obviously i can get bongs without a down stem i gotta put the water in it and clean the water change the water out but overall this is a thousand times but it's so much better the fact that you're able to just take bigger hits they're nice and cooled up that's going to get you higher and that's going to 
gonna save you weed. When I first started using bongs, I found myself doing less hits because the hits were more impactful. It's easier to talk yourself into another hit when they're not heavy, but when you take a nice, big, heavy bong rip, it's really easy to relax after that compared to like a dry pipe where you're just scorching your throat and you're trying to deal with the harshness the whole time. So I'll probably add more dry pipes to my collection. Hopefully we add more water pipes too. I do like them to a degree. I'm not just completely going to throw all my shit in the trash and be like, I'm never using this again. But when it comes down to preference, if I could only hit one thing for the rest of my life and it was a dry pipe or a water pipe, Bro, I'm going bongs all day. Water pipe all fucking day. Bongs you can also attach ash catchers on. You can get custom bowls for it. You can do a lot of cool stuff with a bong. Dry pipe, it's a one-piece thing. You get what you got. I don't have any cool attachments or cool shit I can add to it really like I can with a bong. So if you only use a dry pipe and you find yourself going through a lot of weed... Try a bong out. Switch to a bong for a little while. You might find yourself taking less hits or getting more value out of the flower that you're buying. Your weed might stretch out just that much longer to where it's worth it overall. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to come smoke with me on my Twitch streams after 9 p.m. Link that Amazon Prime so I can get that Jeff Bezos weed money. And if you want to hear why I think nectar collectors suck, check this video out. There's a lot of great things that you can use for big low temp dabs, and this is not one of them. Later, my dudes.